guys what's up welcome back to the channel let's get into these bantu knots um i remixed them with a little bit of heart parts so let's get into it first things first i'm going to blow dry my hair i'm using this blow dryer and this paddle brush i just wanted to stretch my hair out this is completely optional you do whatever you want to do but this is what i did i wanted it to be a little bit more stretched now once my hair was fully blow dried i went ahead and started my parts now I wanted to be unique, so I started with some heart parts on the side of my head. The first thing you wanna do is kinda of carve out your section. Once you carve out your section, you can begin carving out the heart. This was the most difficult pattern I've ever done, but we got it done. It took a lot of going back in with the parting comb, this is our parting comb from Petri, to really perfect those lines. Think of it like your pencil or a paintbrush and you're trying to paint a heart. Hopefully you know how to draw a pretty neat heart. I really actually don't know how to draw neat hearts and I'm pretty surprised about how neat these hearts came out. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I'm literally just going over each of those curves to emphasize that it's a heart and not just some kind of misshapen blob. Now, this parting comb is made of carbon fiber, so it's really strong, so I didn't have any worries about it breaking. Um, you could also use the tail, but I really prefer this pointed tip because it can get into the sections that I need it to get into a little bit easier. Let's get into the back. So the back, again, we're just carving out a part. And here, um, I carved out my first curve, and this is about all the footage I could get for you guys. This is the second um, curve, so the second side of the heart. And this was really challenging, you guys. It took over an hour to part the heart in the back. But it's because I couldn't decide if I wanted a small heart or a big heart. In the end, I kind of went with a big heart and it's kind of not centered either. I wanted it to be slightly off-centered so it could really catch the eye. And I think it looks pretty good. For the front, I'm gonna do a zigzag pattern down the middle. Um, since I have those two heart patterns on the side of my head, it makes it slightly challenging to do like just a straight part down my head. Um, I didn't want it to be like that. I wanted it to be very unique. So I went ahead and did a zigzag part. So first things first, I'm taking Hemp Bay. This is our hair oil. I rub it all over my hands and I apply it to the section of hair that I've parted out. And um, I make sure to focus it from the roots all the way to the tips. Once I feel that each section has had enough oil or moisturizer, I follow up with braid glaze. Also, you guys can find both of those products on Petri.co, that's the website. And I'm applying it with my fingertips first because I wanna ensure that the braid glaze has been applied all around this entire heart. I want this thing molded, okay, molded down is not going anywhere once i apply it with my fingertips i follow it with the parting comb this is just to ensure that the gel gets distributed evenly now for this type of style and these type of parts metal clips duckbill clips whatever kind of clips that you have are going to be your best friend because it's going to keep everything out of the way as you can see here i'm just smoothing combing here i'm showing y'all that shine you see how molded down it's getting i'm putting this hair into the spot that i want it to get and i'm molding it to the middle of my um into the middle because when i start doing the bantu knot i want you guys to be able to see that it's a heart next you want to take your rubber bands i'm going to use these pack of 500 to secure that section that i just moisturized and molded down with the braid glaze you don't have to do it too tight because remember these are bantu knots and you're going to be twisting and wrapping the hair around itself and it's going to get tighter as you wrap let's get into the braiding hair y'all i just used some regular stretched braiding hair color number two i used two packets in total for this style and i separated each pack into about four sections even though i only have five bantu knots I have two small braids in the back, so I just made sure I had enough hair for that. Here, I'm gonna start it off as a box braids. I couldn't find my crochet tool, otherwise I would have crocheted it through. So 
next best thing for me to do was to start it off as a box braid then as you're gonna see I'm going to begin twisting it around itself then wrapping it to wrap it it's pretty self-explanatory once you feel that your hair is pretty secured after the box braid or once you crochet it in you're just going to begin twisting around itself so if you start feeling tension like it's really painful you want to go ahead and stop loosen the knot and then just begin again what you don't want to do is um, cause your hair to fall out you know because you're trying to look cute so take your time wrap it gently and remember these are jumbo so you could secure it with bobby pins to make sure it's not moving around you do not have to do it extremely tight So for the cornrows in the back, I'm separating the extension hair that I'm gonna be feeding in into the multiple pieces. Y'all already know how I do. Here I'm taking that Hemp Bay hair oil. I'm gonna apply the hair oil from the root to the tip of my hair and that entire section that I'm going to cornrow. Again, I'm just doing this to ensure that I have shine and that I lock in moisture. And then I can follow up with a powder brush just to make sure there's no tangles because I am going to cornrow and you don't want to have any knots because it's going to mess up your flow. Next is braid glaze. You already know we've been using it for this whole style. So we're going to apply it to the perimeter just like this. I started to use the comb. Then you know what? I said forget it. Let's use these fingers. Apply it all around the perimeter. Okay, That is the key you guys when you're molding down your styles and your parts apply the gel the beeswax around the perimeter then use your comb to distribute that gel all the way through down to the ends you want this hair to be held in place so that way when you're braiding you could just grab and go look at that shine there ain't no flakes it's gonna be held all week is good Time to start cornrowing. Here I'm starting with my real hair. I want these to look natural. I want these to have a gradual growth in size. So I'm starting with my real hair and I just start a regular cornrow. Cross over, go under, grab, cross over, go under. And I do this until I feel that the beginning of the braid is nice and formulated and that the foundation is pretty secure. So that way when I go and add my first piece of hair, everything's not slipping and sliding. Y'all already know, we grab our first piece of hair between the pointer finger and the thumb like that. You're gonna slide it in right there, throw that hair back, grab your hair and the braiding hair, and begin intertwining it into each other. I'm gonna do it again right here. I only made two movements. I did one, two, grab some hair. Put it in, throw it back, grab your hair and the braiding hair, and you're gonna go under, go under, and continue on with this same pattern. Hey guys, what's up? So this is the final look. It's really, really cute. It took about two, maybe three hours to do the entire look from start to finish. It really just took a long time because of the parts. This is a really unique parting design um, and I wanted hearts specifically on both of my sides and in the back. I wanted the hearts to be legible. So that's what, you know, it had to go down like that.
So for this style, I used Petri parting combs. You guys can find all of the items on Petri.co. That's the website. I used Bray Glaze. It's pineapple scented, doesn't have alcohol. It's not gonna flake up on you guys, as you can see, and it is actually a really strong hold gel. So Bray Glaze, Petri parting combs, and I even used Hemp Bay hair oil on my hair um, before I braided and twisted everything up. So you guys can find all of those products on our website. 